In a significant development, the Israeli army has declared the completion of the dismantling of Hamas's command structure in the northern Gaza Strip. Army spokesperson Daniel Hagari briefed reporters on the operation's success. Daniel Hagari said that Israel completed the dismantling of the Hamas military framework in the northern Gaza Strip. He added that Palestinian members are now operating in the area only sporadically and without commanders. Hagari emphasized that the focus has now shifted to dismantling Hamas in the central and southern Gaza Strip, acknowledging that this task will take time. The Israeli military's actions come in response to the deadliest attack carried out by Hamas on October 7th, resulting in the deaths of around 1,140 people, mostly civilians. According to Israel, Hamas also took around 250 hostages, with 132 remaining in captivity. Israel responded with force bombarding the territory and sending in ground forces, resulting in at least 22,722 casualties, mostly women and children, according to the health ministry in Hamas-run Gaza. Hagadi acknowledged the challenges posed by the central Gaza Strip's crowded refugee camps, stating that they are full of terrorists. In the south, the city of Khan Yunis presents additional difficulties with an elaborate underground network of tunnels. Earlier, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu made a strong statement asserting his government's commitment to eliminate Hamas, ensure the return of all hostages and guarantee that Gaza will never again be a threat to Israel. Benjamin Netanyahu said that the war must not be stopped until they achieve all of the goals. The situation remains fluid as military efforts continue in the central and southern Gaza Strip. One India will closely monitor developments and provide updates as the story unfolds.